Well, I think at this point it's safe to say that the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition is inevitable. Of course it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. The NES Classic Edition, a dream come true. Rumors of the Super Nintendo Classic Edition started coming around, and we we're like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Nothing's confirmed, and then Nintendo confirmed it. Now we're hearing about there's a uh, the thing with the um, you know cop copyright or something with the controller, a very specific Nintendo 64 controller. Maybe something to do with the analog, um, which would mean that they're looking into maybe. So far, nothing's been confirmed, all right? Uh, th there's no word on, you know, maybe they're making a Nintendo 64-style analog sticks uh, Bluetooth for the Wii. Eh, who knows? Maybe they're making, uh, you know, it's got to be the Classic Edition, right? They're working on it now. Super Nintendo Classic Edition is coming up this year. Next year, we'll see the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. I thought we may have seen a Game Boy Classic Edition sooner than a Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. I thought a Game Boy Classic Edition would have come out first, but it's not, and I'll tell you why soon, all right? I don't know why, but I'm speculating. This is all speculation. So what do you think? Let me know. Here's what I think about with the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. Here's Here are my predictions, all right? Um, it's not going to drop down every more games. Nintendo was 30. Super Nintendo, they're looking at, what, 20, 21. I think we'll have 15 games for the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition, right? Um, and I'll go over, and I'll do a video soon on which 15 games I think those will be. I think we'll also probably see four ports on the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. It will look like this up front, but it'll be a drop down thing and then there'll be four ports. So for the four player games, for the four player action. <sighs> I think the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition will probably get more use out of my Nintendo 64. <laughs> That's for sure. But at this point, I say it's pretty inevitable. Here's the reason I don't think... Oh, dear Lord, do I want to say this? Uh, you heard it here first, all right? Here's the reason I don't think that they're making a Game Boy Classic Edition yet. Down the line, maybe. Um, the reason I don't think so is because maybe around the same time, this time next year, that you'll see this, they'll have a different Game Boy. Now, they're discontinuing the 3DS. We heard about that. The 2DS XL that's coming out here in about a week or so looks pretty cool. It's another 2DS system. Here's what I'm getting at. They're removing the 3D... They're, they're discontinuing 3DS and they're putting out a new emphasis on the 2DS. So what are they going to do with that 3D technology? It's going to go to something. It's going to go to something big we don't know what that is yet, but mark my words, holiday of next year, maybe even holiday of 2020, what, I don't know yet. Um, they're going to re-emphasize that 3D technology for something else. Maybe a, a, a different something or other, we don't know yet. But in the meantime, because they don't want to take sales away from any Game, Game Boy Classic Edition, Nintendo 64 Classic Edition it is, and it's probably going to be the same thing that's inside the Nintendo one, the same thing that's inside the Super Nintendo one. It's going to be a Linux base or an Android base, something or other. Um, but looking forward to it, all the same. And you won't even need the jumper. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad there was actually a jumper in here. I do have a Nintendo 64 without a jumper, so I'm glad, I'm, glad I grabbed the right one. <laughs> So uh, thank you for watching. Speculate all you will. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. You're awesome. You're awesome. I said those other people are awesome. I think you're awesome, though, right? You're awesome. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you.